Hi friends, Cole here, and today I want to show you just a quick fix uh, yoga. Just some of my favorite poses for whenever there's not a lot of time and I just feel like they're really effective and I want to share them with you. So let's just start standing. We'll just add a little flow into it, but let's inhale the arms up, kind of reach back, send the hips forward and exhale. Bend the knees a little bit as you fold forward. So you can have the knees bent as much as you want. We'll open into the hamstrings. So you can be really bent, so you can kind of start to straighten, but don't hyperextend. So we never want it to be um, so that the knees are going back to the backs of the knees. So protect your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the hands to the shins. Push the shins into the hands, hands into the shins. Bring the shoulders away from the ears, tailbone up, belly in, like cobra in the back. Exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, lengthen. This is a full body pose here, opening up the hamstrings, the back, across the chest. Exhale, fold forward one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, find space. Step back with the right foot. Plant the right hand. Bring the left hand to the knee. You can bring the right knee down. I had to think about which side that was. Or keep the right leg up. Either one, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna push the hand into the knee as we twist the body. Breathing here, you're really twisting from low. So this isn't just, we're not just uh, twisting the upper body, we're twisting the whole torso, pulling the belly in. Now you can also come to the pinky edge side of the foot and press the knee away. Let's we'll start to get into the hip as well. Good. It's juicy. Come back center. Plant the hands. If the back knee is lifted or down, bring it up. And we're gonna bring the foot in about a foot. It depends on your body size. I have to bring it in a foot. You might only bring it in a little bit. If you have blocks, we can use the blocks here. So pyramid pose. The back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Front foot's forward. So first and foremost, we wanna get the hips straight. Square, hips are square. So hips are, the hip bones are coming forward. So find that halfway lift in the back, shoulders are away, belly in, cobra in the back. We'll start to fold forward. This is big opening. Inhale, halfway lift. So let's check out the feet here. With the front foot, you wanna be pressing down like it's a gas pedal. That'll help to send this left hip back. You can also think about pulling back on the left hip. You can even put your thumb there or just visualize the hip crease moving back. With the back foot, the back heel is lifted and the pinky edge side of the foot is really pressing into the ground. So using both of these feet kind of like, a, um, oh, what's the right word? That's the gears or the, the shifters. There you go. <laughs> so put the hand on the sacrum. So you'll be able to feel if one hip is higher than the other hip and then use the weight in the feet to even out. So that's center for me there. So again, we're lengthening and now we'll go ahead and come down again. So reaching through the heart and the crown of the head, don't reach through the chin, it'll crank the neck back. So we're just reaching through the heart. Relax the head. This is a deep pose. Beautiful. If you have a block, put it on the inside of the left foot. Place the right hand on the block. Lift up. Push the, I mean, push the block away. Take the left hand to the hip. Notice if it's sticking out, pull it back. Press into the block, we're gonna start looking towards the left. We're gonna start twisting open. Take the hand to the sacrum, notice how it shifted. 
So figure if you need to push into the left foot, push into the right foot to come back to center. Gazing over the left shoulder, maybe you stay right here. This is deep. Maybe you lift that left arm. This is deeper. Scissor the thighs together. That'll help create space and lengthen the spine. So when you do that, you can feel the crown of the head go towards the front of the room a little bit more. With the top hand, as if you're pushing into an invisible wall, it'll spin the chest open. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, come to center, plant the hands. Woo! It's one of my favorite poses. It's intense, but it's so effective. We're gonna bring the right knee Place it down on the ground and sit down. Let's we'll have a seat after that. Bring the left foot, place the sole of the foot on the ground. See if you can get both hips down on the ground. Let's do some little, some adjusting here. Take the left hand behind the back. Right arm comes up. Two options here. Option one, wrap the arm around. Gaze over the left shoulder. Option two, hook the arm in front. Take the hand to the chest or the hand up and active. And gaze over the left shoulder, breathing here. Every inhale, imagine you're getting taller out of the hips. And the exhale, we'll twist it. Coming back to center. Plant the hands, bring the right foot to meet the left foot. Inhale, hands to the shins, halfway lift, finally. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. Plant the hands, step back, left foot. Knee can be up, knee can be down. Plant the left hand, bring the right hand to the knee. We're going to push in over the left shoulder. Notice that this left, here's a common thing that will happen is that the left shoulder will want to come in, will be kind of like this. Open up the left shoulder. One way you can do that is think about opening a jar, like you're going to open a jar to the left. That really helps to externally rotate there. And I love that cue. Good. Now open up the hip. Come to the pinky edge side of the foot. Twist. Good. Coming back to center, plant the hands. Bring the back foot in. Pyramid pose. So really spreading the toes, planting the foot down, pressing into it like it's a gas pedal. If you want the blocks, bring the blocks. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Really connected through the pinky edge side of the foot and lifting up at the arch. Hips are square towards the front of the room. You can take the hand to the sacrum to kind of feel if it's straight. You can also bend as much as you need in that front knee. We'll all be at different levels. Different variations. So we're lengthening crown of the head towards the front of the room and exhale towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, find a little bit more length, snake the heart forward, and exhale, fold. So if you'd like to, again here, check in with the hips. See where your hips are in space. Sometimes I think I'm straight and then I check and I'm not, so it's really good. It helps uh, body awareness if you're always checking in. You, can, you should be looking back at the foot, so lift the arch a little bit, lift the back kneecap, Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring a block inside the right foot. Spread the hands wide, plant on the block. Bring the right hand to the hip. Lengthen, crown the head towards the front, the tailbone towards the back, find space, and we'll start to twist to the right. You can take, rotate the hand to the hip to see how we've twisted here. So I need to put more weight in the front foot. 
to bring the left, the right hip back. And maybe you open up. The right hand's pushing into an invisible wall to twist. Press back through the back heel. Everything's strong. Again, notice the left arm. If the shoulder's moving in, you can open up that jar to the left again. It keeps going shut. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the hands. Shaking is good. Bring the knee down. Get ready for seated twist. And both the hips down on the ground, sole of the right foot on the ground, left hand behind the back. Inhale, left arm up. Two options, wrap around and gaze back. Or up and over, palm alive, whether it is up or on the heart. Breathing here, inhale, Lifting tall, exhale, twisting. Gazing towards the front, and winding, planting the hands. Left foot meets the right, now let's Open up the feet, bend the knees, bow forward, bring the hands behind the head. Whew. So this will create traction. So my, my uh, spine just kind of decompressed a little bit. It's really nice. So bend the knees as much as you want. The hands behind the head create a little more traction and come more into the balls of the feet than the heels. This really lets the torso hang. Pull the belly in. Maybe sway side to side. If you really don't have any time, you can at least do this pose, and this pose is awesome. Really, really good. Let's release the hands and slowly roll up, curl the back. Roll up to standing eventually. The shoulders roll onto the back, the head comes up on top of the spine. So if you don't have a lot of time, that's no excuse. There's always a couple poses that you can do. And um, even if that's all you can fit into your day, it's, it's such a benefit. So I challenge you to um, fit in a couple poses, at least a couple poses a day. And uh, let me know if you don't believe me on that. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining us. Check out um, our website, uh, yogatx.org, coldchanceyoga.com, all sorts of things going on. And we'll catch you next time back on the mat.